Let's take a look at the underground duchy in the root board game, the threat from below. This is a fun little faction. Now they begin in the opposite corner of the Marquise and their goal is to essentially uh, build up their infrastructure to sway people to join their side, which gives them extra powers. So it actually works out really well that you start in the opposite corner from the Marquise because it gives you a chance to establish yourself. So you get uh, your keep opposite and you also get two warriors in each adjacent clearing. So you begin the game fairly strong with quite a few troops on the board and fairly concentrated. So during Birdsong, you place one warrior in a clearing called the Burrow. It can't be entered by anybody else, thankfully. And so the Burrow is adjacent to all of your tunnels on the map. So as you place your tunnels, you'll get to be able to move there. So you can take up to two of the following actions. So build, recruit, dig, move, and battle. Now that doesn't go very far, but don't worry, you build up to more moves. So uh, we'll try the recruit action here. I actually find it to be the least useful of any of your abilities. And now we can build. So if you're starting early on, uh, you have to reveal a card matching the suit of the clearing you've selected. And each card can only be revealed once each turn, so that actually limits how many different uh, places you can build in. So uh, the Citadel increases the number of warriors that you recruit each turn. So that is actually a very good starting place because you want to get warriors on the board quickly. In evening, revealed suit cards are discarded. We revealed a bunny suit card, so it returns to our hand to be used later. Now we get to craft using the suits of the clearings our buildings are in. Let's note that the tunnels are tokens and not buildings, so they won't contribute during crafting. That makes sense. So your citadel building is in the bunny clearing, so that lets you craft travel gear, which is in your hand. And I think travel gear is, um, and actually any kind of crafting that does points for you is probably a, a good option for the duchy. So finally we draw a card and pass the turn. So we only got one card because we only have one marketplace, or we don't have any marketplaces. Um, we need to add marketplaces in order to get more of those cards uh, coming in on a regular basis. So we'll need to get that very quickly. In this tutorial, we are up against the Marquise de Cat, so this is a very easy opponent. It's really hard for them to um, get us under control. But during Birdsong, you add one warrior to the burrow. Thanks to the Citadel, we actually get two. So now we're up to four because we had a holdover from last turn. And we've got a building exposed. So this is actually one of the great powers of uh, the underground duchy because we can dig a tunnel and in one turn also send our warriors there. So you have to pay, uh, discard the card matching the clearing where you dug the tunnel to, in this case, a mouse clearing. And let's crank it up to four. I mean, there doesn't, since they can't attack our burrow, there's no reason to hold any back. So we'll send all four. They'll just spit right out there. And then we'll crush him and steal some points. So this is one of the ways that you'll be generating quite a few points is looking for these weaknesses. And so now we crush them with the attack move. And this works just like any other faction. You're rolling the dice, we get the advantage because we're the attackers. So we utterly obliterate them. It's quite fun playing with the duchy actually because you can do these power plays where you get you know groups of seven troops and you can march around and basically unopposed crush whoever you want so they can be very fun that way but they also build as well so you need to defend your infrastructure so you do actually need quite a few troops in order to build our plan requires we secure more bunny clearing so move two warriors to a bunny clearing held by your enemies then battle there Okay, so let's move down to the bottom. And we'll send two of them. Spread our forces so we can build a building up above if we want. Ah, it won't let me send three. You're forced to do what the tutorial wants you to do. Then we'll knock out that Marquise. And remember, it's much easier for the duchy to get troops back on the board than it is for other factions. So we went one for one there, but I guess he can bring it back in his keep. But still, we own that corner now. So now we can sway powerful ministers to our side, scoring VP and increasing the actions at our disposal. 
Okay, so we've got three different ministers we can sway here. So reveal any card to place a citadel, initiate a battle, or take a move. We also have the nobles and the lords that we can choose from. They tend to, you build towards those a little bit later. Okay. So let's check out uh, the nobles. So in future turns, we can look at the brigadier, which takes two moves. Uh, the banker, which is spending any number of cards of the same suit. And I guess I got too excited and clicked past on those. So we'll have to check those out later. Um, but the, the ones towards the right are for more in the later game. So uh, to sway a minister, we have to reveal a number of cards from your hand equal to the minister's rank. So two for the squire, three for the noble, four for the lord. So um, you do need to get your card draw up. And so we score two for playing a brigadier because it's a noble and we remove one of the three noble crowns from your inventory and once we're out of noble crowns we can no longer sway any noble ministers so we've got two crowns remaining there so essentially you can actively score points by attacking and destroying infrastructure or you can passively score points by um, getting buildings on the board and then having the nobles that score those points for certain numbers of buildings. So it's a fairly powerful faction. Feeling hungry for cards? Time to build a market. Yes, this feels a little bit late to me to build a market, but uh, no time's better than the present. So this will, in fact, you can see there's a card above it because it's going to add one extra card draw to us. So that's great. And then we want to dig a hole near their wood source and then shut it down with force. So yeah, let's go right in there. And he hasn't defended it well with just two Marquis de Cats there. Might as well put all four in. And they spit it instantly. After your initial actions are complete, may, you may use the powers of your suede ministers. Over on the left, you click on those so we can activate the Brigadier. Take up to two moves or two battles. So we'll go with two battles here. And then if we don't defeat him completely on the first round, we still have two moles left in order to uh, wipe out his infrastructure. So I think for me, that's probably the best in terms of the timing of the card for that noble um, because it gives you the flexibility of two battles or two uh, movements, which is essentially your base amount of actions anyway. So because you only have bake sale left in your hand, we don't have enough cards to sway a minister. That's right. So we would need more cards to do that. So really, I like how balanced this faction is because you can uh, defeat people in battle. You can score points passively uh, with your nobles. And you can also craft, and I would suggest crafting a, a lot of the cards uh, that like bake sale or root tea um, that or I think investments is another good one that does uh, three points for you. So. so we're focused on aggression that we forgot to protect our market. Yes, this is a problem. So now we suffer the price of failure. So when they destroy one of your buildings, you lose the noble that you swayed. So that's really important that you, you keep them. So um, now it's telling me I have to score 15 points to complete the quest here. Uh, what I'll do is speed up the gameplay here for you so that you can enjoy a quick finish to the game. So there are a number of paths to victory here. Um, I would suggest in a game like this, get your marketplace going, make sure you have five cards in hand every time, and then you can sway ministers quickly, which allows you to get extra moves. Okay, so I think it's about time to finish this fellow off. We're at 14 points, so this is very easy to get uh, the win here by destroying his sawmill. It's defenseless, and that ends the round. So. If this has been helpful to you, please like and subscribe, and we'll be coming out with a strategy guide for this very shortly, so come back and visit us, and we'll teach you all the secrets you need in order to dominate with the underground duchy. This has been Legendary Tactics. Now get out there, get gaming, and be legendary.